Hi all, welcome back to our channel. So today we will be discussing about analytic accounting in older 50. So why analytic accounting is used? It is used by the companies for the purpose of analyzing the cost of a business uh, project and analyzing the performance of the project. And we can re-invoice a time to customer. So it can be used to analyze funds of the company that are spent properly and retail. So in order to create uh, these accounts, uh, first we have to activate it from the configuration settings. So you can see already this analytic accounting is enabled from settings. So now here we can see under configuration, there is a separate section for analytic accounting. Here we can find all the analytic accounts. Like we have customer care, commercial and marketing, field service. So according to your requirement, you can create analytic accounts and manage your project or business. So here we can find an analytic account research and development. So this is the name of the analytic account and you can set this account specifically for a customer. You can add a reference, then you can uh, view the currency of this account. And here, in order to manage the budget, you can add budget items. So here we can add a uh, budget. So this can be used to manage the budget of your project or business. And we have already done a video on budget management in Udo 15 accounting. So please go through that video if you want to know more about it. And for this account, you can see there is a related project research and development, which is already created. And under this project, we have seven tasks. Then we can view the gross margin of this account. And here we can find the total budget. So here we can change the plan amount. There is a research income. So you can see now the budget is updated. So this is expected amount, expected income from this project. And same way we can uh, add uh, expected expense. That is research expense or cost. So according to that, you can see the total budget. And here we can add analytic account groups. So we have already created some groups like uh, projects, department, internal. So here we can choose one. And if you want to create more groups, you can come under configuration. There you can find analytic account groups. So here for project, you can see the name. Then we can add description for this analytic account groups. So here we can filter this analytic accounts by adding a custom group uh, group. So you can see all the accounts under the analytic account group projects, then departments. Then here we have a group name internal. So we have two analytic accounts under this group internal. Like this way, you can make use of the group to group your analytic accounts. Now let's open our sales module and create a sale order. So just choose a customer here and here let me add a product. 
So here we have a product card and you can see the details. Like here we can view the product type, invoicing policy, then the total uh, sales price and cost of the product. And here we can find the accounting details. So here we can find the income account, expense account. So in normal case, if you confirm this sale order and create invoice, you can see the journal item generated and uh, we can view the journal entry from a sales journal. So here we can find the journal items related to that invoice. Now let's see what will happen if you post this to an analytic account. I'm choosing the same product. So let's confirm the sale order and create an invoice. So from this draft invoice, you can see here in the invoice line, we have a field for adding the analytic account. And this one is the income account of the product. Now let's confirm this invoice. And here we can find the journal items related to this. Now, if we open accounting, here we can find a menu where we can view the analytic items. So now when you click on this, you can see that analytic item uh, for car. So when you open this, you can see the details. So you can see this much amount is posted on this analytic account. And they can find the related partner, then date, then for which product the analytic item is created. So now when you open uh, the analytic account research and development, we can see here, we have one related customer invoice, which is posted. And you can see that gross margin is updated. So here we can find a new entry for this month, December. So like journal entries uh, for chart of accounts, for analytic accounts, we have separate analytic items. Then along with analytic accounts, we also have option to create analytic tags. So you have seen that from configuration settings, we have enabled analytic tags along with this analytic accounting. So this allows you to tag analytic entries and also at the same time, it helps to manage analytic distributions. So you can see here, the menu analytic tags and we have already created an analytic tag contracts and this allows to distribute amounts to different analytic account. So, so let's create a, a new account. have created uh, two analytic accounts. Now let's add the distribution. So for first account, I'm setting as 50. And for second also, I'm setting as 50. Now let me create a customer invoice.
and here I'm adding the analytic tag contract and after that confirm the invoice now here when I open the analytic accounts here you can see 3 lakh is posted on vehicle revenue 1 and 3 lakh remaining 3 lakh is posted on vehicle revenue 2. So this is done according to the analytic distribution that we have set inside the analytic tag contract. That is here you can see uh, amount is distributed equally among the analytic account vehicle revenue 1 and vehicle revenue 2. Then in Odo, it's also possible to automatically assign, set this analytic accounts based on some conditions. So this can be done by using analytic default rules. So here we can add some conditions like for product bag, partner Azure India. administrative will be set as a default analytic account. So in the same way we can also set a default tag. So after saving the uh, analytic default rule, let's create a customer invoice. You can see no analytic account is automatically assigned. But now, when I change the customer to Azure India, you can see that account uh, administrative and analytic tag contracts automatically assigned. So this is done based on the condition. Now that is, we have set a condition that our partner must be Azure India, then the product must be bag. Now, if I set a condition like uh, this will be done only when the user is marked demo. Now, when you try to create invoice, add the partner as Azure Interior and product back. But you can see uh, analytic account or analytic tag is not assigned because the user is misled me. So when you log in as Mark Demo, You can see now by default account and tags are set. So this is how we make use of that analytic default rules uh, to automatically assign analytic accounts and tags. Now login again as Michelin Admin. Then based on the activities of analytic accounting, you can generate the analytic reports by selecting the analytic report option from reporting menu. So here you can see that. So from this report, you can view all the analytic accounts, then the related partner and the total balance in your account. And with the filtering feature, you can display uh, data according to your requirement. So if you want uh, to view hierarchy and subtotals, you can enable that. Then we can unfold all. Then we can view the report based on date. Like uh, now you can see it is the analytic report for this month. And if you want to view for last month, you can just click on this. Then we can view 
for this quarter is financial year, last financial year, and we can add custom date. Like we can set a period here. So if you want to view the report from January 1st to January 31st, you can add that and apply. And this report can be saved in PDF and we can also copy to Excel sheet. So this can be done by exporting to PDF or Excel uh, by providing a document's name and you can choose a folder. So you can see here an Excel sheet is created and uh, that is added under the workspace finance. And you can also directly download uh, this report as PDF or Excel from here. So that's about analytic report. And that's all for this video. And if you have any doubt related to analytic accounts in order 50, you can add your comments below. And if you're looking for any auto implementation or customization in your business, drop a request to odwatsidrosis.com.